start measuring from the corner of your kitchen to, in this instance, is a window to the outside of that trim. You see that 19 inches right there, that's perfect. When you measure a window, you measure from the outside of the trim to the outside of the trim, and that shows that 40 and an eighth there. Now you're gonna go from trim to trim to the door there, and that's 17 and three quarters. We want to make sure that we do not include the trim in our wall measurements. Then you do the whole wall. This is just to verify that we got everything correct. Do you want to make sure that you do not include the trim in any of your measurements so that we don't put any cabinets over top of your trim? Uh, that would not be good. How to measure your kitchen. All right, measure the walls. I'm away from the wall, but there's a reason for that. And if you have to run into that issue, that's all right. But just you want from wall to wall, get that good measurement for me. All right, now you're gonna measure from the wall to the sink. The sink itself. And now you're going to go ahead and measure from the other side from the wall to the sink. This will verify that I've gotten the full length correct. So I always double check. I'm very picky about the measurements because I don't want you to order cabinets that are wrong. So here we are, we're measuring from the wall to your stove opening, all right, which is 36 and a eighth, I think it was. And you wanna make sure now, when you're installing that, your installer leaves 30 and a quarter inches for that stove, so you can slide in and out. Most stoves are 30 inches. Yes, you have some nice ones that are 36 and 48, but those are unusual. Now you're gonna measure from that stove over to the end of your wall. There, you're gonna see that. And if you want to just stay back away from there a little bit, you can, um, but just put the wall down and we'll discuss all that later. The height of your microwave is very important because it helps me to know what size cabinet to go above that microwave. If you're just putting a hood there that's about six or eight inches, then I need to know the height of that as well. This will determine the size of the cabinet that goes above that item. All right, so when you are putting these measurements on paper, don't worry about it being to scale, All right? If you have return walls at the ends, please write those in. Those are very important. Those will determine whether you need a filler or not at the end. So your drawers, when you're opening, don't scrape against your walls. If there's no return, just put no return down there for me. That way I'll know it and uh, know that you look for that make sure it's not there. Write down the full length of your walls. As I did, and I told you, it doesn't matter. It don't have to be to scale. Since this doesn't have a window, we don't have a window placement, then I'm gonna need the sink placement to make sure that your plumbing is, uh, that I meet the plumbing, uh, not slide it over too far. There is a little bit of movement there. We can move it maybe an inch or two um, to make sure a cabinet fits, but uh, I do, want to make sure that I have that as close as possible for you. Now what we're going to be doing next is going down the wall where the stove is. Just draw in the stove. Again, this is not to scale. Your stove there is 30 inches. And then from the wall to the stove, what we measured was at 36 and an eighth. Write that down. And then from the stove to the end of the wall. And that's an open end, so everybody will see the edges of your cabinets. <clears throat> Therefore, there won't be any fillers there. Now, if you need the um, cabinets to stay back a certain amount on your wall, uh, maybe uh, you want it back five inches or so, just write that down and I will make sure that I stay back uh, far enough what you've written down there. All right. And that's pretty much it, except for now we need the measurements of the microwave to be written down, which is your heights and your widths. 
the width on them are always usually about 30, 29 and three quarter, something like that. So, um, but uh, just double check that for me. And then we are going to need the size of the fridge, which is the width, very important. And then the height. Most of the fridges are 68, 69, something like that. The last measurement, but a very important measurement, is the height of your ceiling. This will determine what size your uppers are. We have 30s, 36s, and 42s are your common sizes. And I need to know the height of your ceiling so that I get the right cabinets. We don't want you paying for 42s and then they don't fit. So that, those are the very important measurements. If you bring in a sheet like that, to me, you will be golden. So I can design out your kitchen for you. And I think that's about it.